Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Puta Macross Gacha videos with me. And this time round, it's kind of a bit of a late video because I just ended recording or rather live streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, on my YouTube channel. Hopefully, you guys were able to catch it. If you have not, no worries, I will be uploading the video tomorrow after this one. So don't forget to check it out if you guys are Final Fantasy fans or are just curious to find out the story on the brand new take of FF7 for the PlayStation 4. So let's dive back into the actual content for this video. It is all about Macross and our, well, Kaname's brand new, not exactly uh, fashionable costume. <laughs> well, we've all seen this costume before. It's not exactly new, but it is new for Uta Macross. So let's get excited and see what, well, let's say wonderful things that the episode plate can provide for us this coming Red Boss event, which is going to happen in another uh, 10 hours from now that I'm recording this video. Yes, it is 1 a.m. Uh, in Singapore, so it's basically 2 a.m. in Japan. <laughs> okay, so 3,867 total score. Um, focusing a bit more on soul this time round and a bit well balanced around voice and charm. Take note of the three other divas that can equip this episode plate if you guys, well, um, if you guys fancy the other three divas more because maybe they are your waifus, definitely you might want to consider getting this episode plate if it actually has very good skills that comes with this pretty decent total score. Alright, so S rank for its center skill. Um, apparently it's only usable when it's used on the blue series songs or the soul element or Inochi, um, whatever name you want to call that series by. So units total is boosted by 35% up so once again. Even though it's S rank, the percentage boost is not the best that we've seen. Um, so definitely this episode play of Kaname's is looking towards being a live skill support episode play. Alright, so the second page and there we go. So even though it does come with an active skill that boosts, you know, score percentage, but it's 70%. Normally we will get 100% if it's meant to be used as a center position play, but 70% is still pretty okay. And it comes with a live skill that is meant for high score purposes. So it's kind of versatile, but now that we've got 7 star episode plates, why do you even bother using this kind of episode plates as a center position plate? Well, unless you have yet to obtain your first ever 6 star episode plate that could evolve to a 7 star, well, I feel sad for you because I can feel the pain for free to play players, but you know, there is a certain extent where your bad luck will end eventually when it comes to gacha pools. So, if you guys have been pulling smartly with your singing stones, you should be able to have obtained at least a 6 star copy of any of the 7 star plates by now. So, <laughs> yes, like I was saying, this is more used for a live skill support because it comes with a combo bonus skill. If you guys have no idea what this skill does, you definitely need to go and rewatch all my other gacha videos that have talked about this skill since its release until now. So let's move on to the last page to see if this episode play actually has something better to make it a top tier play among its tiers of 6 stars. So, oh, it doesn't. So, I guess this puts Kaname's play as uh, I would say a mid-tier episode plate now. So if it does come with a special note, it will definitely be a top tier. Definitely not beating the 7 star episode plates, which I will call them as god tier. So yeah, it's a pretty decent plate with a very good total score. If you have 
not gotten any episode plate of this power value that comes with a pretty good or rather some of the players out there call it a meta skill I don't really consider it a meta skill because well it's pretty risky if you break your combo the skill is pretty pointless so yeah um, it has a pretty good skill very good total score if you don't have anything like this go for it and of course if you're a Kaname fan my words have no meaning towards you just do it because she's your waifu um, other than that well brand new costume that's one of the main incentives of getting this episode played or rather trying for it so yeah that's what we're gonna do today as always we're gonna try to get it <laughs> of course try to unlock Kaname's costume as well sadly to say red boss event there's no other way to unlock this costume except via the gacha itself so let's do this i have only enough for well the 10 plate discounted pool we're gonna save up a bit more singing stones for the upcoming gacha um that's coming for the well the last event of the month after the red boss event so yeah but you usually there will be a second gacha somewhere soon um well maybe not for this red boss event because it's just a four day event uh, yeah, I'm babbling away. It's 1am in the morning. I just finished a two-hour live stream for FF7 Remake. I'm tired and everything. <laughs> oh, this recording is right after work as well. So, give give me a break, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we have run into a dry streak lately because, yeah, the amazing... Who is still stuck in my head very fresh so all right there we go the terrible animation <laughs> as expected no red boxes on the first bling plenty of red boxes on the second so hopefully some of the red boxes will evolve no evolution on this one okay even Maki Ray is looking a bit upset I can feel the pain from their eyes Ranka, don't laugh. Alright, no evolution on the second one, but we do get a brand new plate that comes with Kaname's costume points. Pretty fantastic. Okay. Moving along. Ooh. A bit of repeats here and there. Oh. Even though it did not evolve, this is just too adorable. I mean, I couldn't sleeping on top of Ranka's head. I, I, I just can't. It's just wishing me a good night's sleep right after this video, which I am going to do because I am definitely very tired right after this, and I'm still sniffling away. Yes, still kind of li living through the flu that I just went through. All right, so pretty good. I got two plates fully evolved to their next rarity. And I did get one episode plate Oh <laughs> with Kaname's brand new fashionable Macross costume. And I just got enough points for Kaname's swimsuit costume. I guess it's a win-win. <laughs> so anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Utah Macross Gacha videos. Hopefully you guys appreciate all the translated content once again. Um, and of course, my opinion on the episode plate and whether you should be pulling the gacha or not. Uh, especially if you're a free-to-play player. And yeah, let me night. Let me. <laughs> what am I saying, guys? Let me know what you guys think of the episode plate itself, your own personal pulls, and all the funky good stuff in the comments down below. Leave a like to this video if you enjoyed me fumble, ram ramble, whatever <laughs> about this video. And subscribe to this channel for more, well, Uta Macross content. And of course, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I'll see you guys soon for oh, oh, another gacha video. Another, well, I guess, five to six days time. Yeah. Bye!